Futures and options on futures trading involve substantial risk and is not a suitable investment for all types of investors. Past results are not necessarily indicative of future results. When I use the word I in this video, it refers to what I teach in my charting course or what I author in my twice daily oral and written updates. Prices shown on charts and quote boards are in real time and take into account all known activity up to this point in time. And if you'd like to read more of this disclaimer, simply hit the pause key on your video player. Good morning, all. I wrap Steen of Linen Associates with your morning flash update, and I'm late. It's 9.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time on this Thursday, the 26th of July, 2018. I wanted to see, I got up early this morning, I wanted to see European uh, Central Bank President, obviously, Mario Draghi speak. He didn't say anything that changes the policy, so the dollar rallied back on that, the euro fell back on that news. In the stock market, by now you know about all the forward guidance that we saw out of a number of uh, auto manufacturers yesterday, not sounding good, but then the piece of news that came out very good is at least there's a cease and desist between Europe and the U.S. as everybody there is going to sit down and try to work out new trade tariff deal. There is nothing done. A cease and desist is done. As for the noise that you heard about the soybeans, it was going to happen anyways. And that's because in order to take beans, beans from the U.S. in a nutshell are cheaper than shipping them from Brazil. And that's because China stepped in and into Brazil drove the price up by taking the beans because they don't want to buy our beans yet. They can't get away come November. You watch what I'm saying. I don't know where they'll get the beans if they don't come to the U.S. markets because there's only so many around. But Europe needs to buy them because they're about a dollar and a quarter cheaper, which is almost a 10 percent price. So makes sense, all right? But it's mostly symbolic there. The other parts of it, it's good that the auto tariffs were at least put into abeyance. Let's work out a deal. If you can knock down one domino, be it with Europe, Mexico, one. Then the Canadian deal will start chipping away in fall. And then if we can get our partners to go back with us against China about the intellectual property and the other parts, we probably can get things done. So the market's looking at it and trying to figure out where to go. I think that in the way of the NASDAQ, what you're fearful of there is the techs aren't performing. And that makes up a certain portion of the S&P as well. On the other hand, where we're looking at the industrials, the Dow is getting the bid and probably parts of the Russell gets a little bit of that. In the metal markets, you see how they're taking it. You've lost 600 points already in the copper. So the market's understanding what all this is. It's not a deal yet. It's the beginning of a, a closer one. There's nothing bullish on that that I'm seeing as a technician. And forget fundamentals on these markets. The markets that got a bid off the industrial metals yesterday because we at first thought there was an actual deal have given that up. It's, as I say, a cease and desist at this point. Energy's pretty flat right now. Wheat market is something you've got to keep your eye on. It's in a run to the upside, a very substantial run, as the world wheat supply is continuing to shrink because of poor weather in many of the world's wheat-growing regions. It's area after area. And as that happens, world wheat is kicking up all uh, parts of the wheat. You have to move yourself to the Bitcoin. I just watched an interview with Terry Duffy, CME chairman. And he was explaining that their contract size is five times the size of the board of option. This is not a contract for everybody. They don't know where this is going to go, if they're going to list anything else with it per se, if it'll be successful. And he said the one thing, it's not for everybody. The spread between bids and offers is still a question. Very fair uh, analysis, very good analysis from him. It's a young contract and we none of us know if it has a value or not. That That's a, a big part of it. So what we saw was the European Monetary uh, Bank left its policy as is. The preliminary durable goods recap, 1%. They were expecting three. That's not a good number. Ex-transportation uh, up four tenths. It was better than the prior number of down three tenths. Durable goods ex-defense up one and a half. Prior was down one and a half, so I guess the two can offset part of that. And they revised to make durable goods, the headline number, to down three-tenths instead of four-tenths. Jobless data came in about where they were looking for. They were looking for 215. They got 217. They lost 8,000 in the weekly claims that are coming out there. So 
we're getting through ideas now. We're trying to understand what the Bank of England is going to do. You've got that on your plate. Uh, we threatened today, the U.S. threatened Turkey with sanctions. The lira is dropping again if they don't release a U.S. pastor. This came out just moments ago from uh, Vice President Pence. We'll see if that gets Turkey to move or not. There's a lot going on in the world that's impacting a lot of things. We write about that. And if you were last night looking, what did it mean in grains, and you weren't getting the information from your broker, we had reports upon reports trying to explain to our people what it all meant. But when you look at all this, you choose the areas you want, what you think you're looking for. We give you the top trades of the day. We give you the fundamental analysis. You're an options trader. Maybe you want to know what the big boys are doing, who's buying what, selling what, be it in the pits or the electronic markets. We're writing about this in many, many different ways. And obviously, at this time of year, if you're a grain trader, weather is very important. And we have really, we have our own a meteorologist on staff. So if you're looking for information, give us a call. You can go to our website and sign up for a free trial to our research. You can click up here as well if you're watching me on YouTube. It'll take you right there. And with that, I'm Ira Epstein, and I'll see you later today in our end of the day videos. Good trading to you.